you know, I think a lot of churches like mine are, are churches that would uh, articulate an understanding of salvation in which God is sovereign, in which God has to do the work. And yet, oftentimes, uh, the way we live out our ministry, what we're actually implying is that, no, 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 God doesn't do the work. We can actually convert people. We can make people Christians. Uh, we do that all sorts of ways. We do that through altar calls, through sinner's prayers. We do that um, through uh, particular evangelistic methods, perhaps. Uh, the way we take people into membership. Uh, I think what we need to do, actually, is make sure that our theology is working itself out in the life of the church. Uh, what, what, what would that mean? Well, that would mean calling people to respond to Christ, and yet understanding that unless God does a prior work, nothing's going to happen. Uh, and so we don't want to use methods that confuse people. Uh, we, 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 we want to present the gospel in such a way in which people are asked to count the cost rather than just trying to sell them a bill of goods that anybody would want. Uh, we want to slow the membership process down. Uh, rather than taking them into membership right at the end of a Sunday morning service, we want to take time, get to know them, uh, ex explain uh, what this church is about and what it means to follow Jesus together with the people in this place. Ask them to consider that. Uh, we, we want to take time to do things like membership interviews. Uh, and we want to make sure that the congregation as a whole has had a chance just to get to know the person a little bit so that they see actual evidence of conversion in their lives before they take a vote that says, hey, we're going to say to the world, we believe you're a Christian. I think in a lot of those ways, being more careful in our evangelism, uh, being careful in our membership practices, we begin to demonstrate that we want to see people converted, and we understand that we don't do that. The conversion is God's work long before it's ours.